decent sized pile. I don't know if that looks like 14 tons. It's supposed to be 14 tons. Eh, maybe. Started to compact yesterday, ran out of gas. So I'm gonna pick up there today. Make sure this is graded properly. Recheck our elevations, clean this up. Boom. Just dropped the jackhammer off at uh, the tool rental center. I'll tell you what, if this place wasn't so convenient, I would not be using them. I'm glad I don't have to rent tool, <laughs> tools often. This is the second time I've been in there to rent a jackhammer and I get the jackhammer and he goes, business name. And I say, the Botanical Brothers. And he goes, ha! It's like, the f what's your business name, dude? The tool rental center? That's real creative, idiot. I mean, total A plus on the creativity level of a business name, right? The tool rental center. Like, come on, bro, you're gonna laugh at my business name. I mean, the Botanical Brothers is freaking great. Genius, whoever thought of that. <clears throat> Ellen. <clears throat> Anywho, rant over. I mean, should, should my business name just be plants? Or plants and patios? Actually, that's not bad. Apparently they delivered our geo grid and I just found out that it's actually buried underneath the pile of stone. I guess they wanted to play a little bit of hide and go seek with the geo grid. Billy, don't put that there. So, I think we're getting close to the halfway point where we're gonna start to need it. If I was a betting man, it's coming up in here soon. Cause you'll always be my baby. Man, I love that machine so much. If you asked me if I had to pick one, my firstborn child or my skid steer, I would plead the fifth. Just kidding, but. <laughs> Coming along, first layer of stones down, slap some geogrid in the center of it, next layer of stone, Compact it all. The stone interlocks in these. You can kind of see it here uh, through the plastic we got to unwrap. Stone gets in these holes, and when you compact it, it interlocks. So it provides lateral stabilization throughout the entire base, which is awesome. Uh, if you're bored, go look up videos of GeoGrid and demonstrations on it. Super, super cool product. Right to the stone with a solid scoop, you should be able to see the base. All right, T. So, Billy and I were just discussing how quickly this first layer of stone went down. I mean, literally flew. Um, a lot of times when we're at job sites that don't have easy access, instead of getting a big pile of stone dumped, 
we have bags. Tons and tons of stone, literal tons in bags, which doesn't allow me to scoop it, which means we're shoveling out of these bags or cutting them open, whatever, to get buckets of things. The other thing is a lot of times we don't have this big open space like we do here. So I was able to drive right over the surface and maneuver fairly easy without having, what do you want, up, down? The bubble's right over the eighth inch. I completely lost train of thought on what I was saying, but that's all right. Oh, the stone, yeah. So it took us maybe a, f a quarter of the time just because it was so easy to access the stone, get it, scoop it in buckets. I was flying around on the skid steer. Yeah, that was about two inches. You look at that time, we just have to finish it. What's going on? Um, can we do the 789 first, then the fire pit stuff, then the pavers? Does that work for you? I don't know. Uh, in the driveway next to the dumpster up here. Cool, thank you. Yeah, boy. It's a lot of pavers. Fire pit, easy joint, my new best friend. Hi, Billy. Hey, the laziest employee you have on payroll. Shit, I thought you were out here just for fun. I gotta pay you. We are getting ready to screech. We got the fire pit in first thing this morning. Uh, I'm excited. It's paver day. The only thing that's gonna suck about today, as you can see up top, God might decide to rain on us. There's a lot of stuff we can do in the rain. There's a lot of stuff that I just won't do because I don't want to get wet and sick, but. Camp Town ladies sing this song, do da, do da. Camp Town race track five miles long, oh, the do da day. Speaking of trash, do me a favor and grab your piss can out of the the dumpster so I don't get dinged for it. I was gonna keep using it. Right well, the thing is, we're gonna forget, and then it's going to go back with the dumpster company, and they're gonna ding me for the weight of the thing. Camp Town ladies sing this song, do da do da. Camp Town racetrack five miles long, oh the do da day, do da do da. Camp Town racetrack five miles long. Oh, the dude a day. Let the record here show that this fire pit is dead level. Yee! Uh, Billy, did I ever tell you that if you make noise and grunt while laying pavers, it actually makes it easier? Oh, the live long day. Camp town ladies sing this song. Do da, do da. Camp town racetrack five miles long. Oh, the do da day. Mm, yeah. Ladies sing this song. Do da, do da. What a bad song to get stuck in my head today. Oh, da, da, da. Uh, yeah, ga, ga. Oh, holy cow. Ah, poop. <laughs> what was the song the other day? There's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. There's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza, a hole. <laughs> oh. Banjo. Someone in the kitchen with I know. Someone in the kitchen I know. Here comes the rain. And I said, it's all right.
Someone's in the kitchen with you. <laughs> oh, I'm losing it, Billy. My body's tired. I've been up since been up since 3 a.m. Uh, that's what happens. Why well, ain't that touching? Kia, Abba, Shiba, Duba, Diba. There we go. Hiya, Maloney. Uh, fits like a glove. Straight lines, baby. Hiya, hiya, Kuba, Hida, Mida, Yuda, Wida. We the best music! Say it again? No, what is it? Why? They choose to or because they do? It's because their wings are... Their uh, feathers are so downy and they're quiet that they have a shit ton of wind resistance on them. And a flock of crows is a gaggle. A crows is a murder. A murder. A murder of crows. Do you know what a flock of hippopotamus is? You heard. A gaggle. <laughs> <laughs>